Hi everybody, welcome to Now What with Brit and Sean. I'm Sean. And I'm Brit. On our channel for grades K to 6, we learn new things and have some fun. Hey Sean. Knock knock. Who's there? Will. Will? I thought it was Brit. No, silly, it's a knock knock joke. You have to say, Will who? Oh, okay. I get it. Let's try again. Okay, ready? Yep. Knock knock. Who's there? Will. Will who? Will you be my valentine? That's a really long last name. No, I'm asking you if you'll be my valentine. Oh, sure, I'll be your valentine. Okay, my turn. Knock knock. Who's there? What? What who? What's a valentine? A valentine is someone you celebrate on Valentine's Day. Like your parents, siblings, friends, or someone special. Valentine's Day is celebrated on February 14th. On this day, people show their love for each other, often by giving each other cards or gifts like flowers or chocolates. Many historians believe that Valentine's Day has its roots in 3rd century Rome. Legend says that the ruler at the time, Emperor Claudius II, banned soldiers from getting married because he thought it would distract them in battle. A priest named Valentine believed banning marriage was unfair. He defied the emperor and would marry couples in secret. Another legend tells us that February 14th is the day when birds find their match and start families together. Today, Valentine's Day is celebrated all around the world. It's a special day to show love and appreciation for the people we care about and to make them feel special. So is giving cards, flowers, or chocolates the only way to celebrate Valentine's Day? It's the most common way to celebrate, but there are other Valentine's Day traditions around the world. Oh cool! We should go check them out. Okay! Our first stop is Finland. Here in Finland, Valentine's Day is called Istavanpaiva, which means Friends Day, a day to celebrate friendships of all sorts. On this day, family and friends gather together for all sorts of activities, like skating and sledding. Friends Day is also celebrated in Estonia, where it is called Sobrapaev. In Germany, people give each other big, heart-shaped ginger cookies with messages written on them. They also exchange pig-themed gifts, since pigs represent luck. I wouldn't mind getting a pound of bacon for Valentine's Day. In South Korea, chocolates and flowers are gifted, but they're only given to men on Valentine's Day. Women get their own version of Valentine's Day a month later on March 14th. That day is called White Day. In Denmark, people send each other poems, signed with dots instead of their names. The person who receives the poem has to guess who sent it. If they guess correctly, the sender owes them a chocolate Easter egg later in the spring. Here in Norfolk County, England, many people celebrate Valentine's Day with gifts from Jack Valentine. Similarly to Santa Claus, Jack Valentine leaves people gifts, except instead of climbing down the chimney, Jack Valentine knocks on people's doors, leaves gifts, and then runs away before anyone can spot him. Well, there it goes now. I guess it's time for us to go back too. Good idea. All those Valentine's Day traditions have something in common. What's that? They're all about letting the people you love know that you care about them. Good point. So I'm going to make something for you that shows how much I care about you. What are you going to make? I'll show you. For this activity, you're going to need a ruler, a pair of scissors, some glue, a couple of magic markers, a pencil, one sheet of construction paper, doesn't matter what color, a piece of white blank paper, and some scrap paper. First you're going to take the blank piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half. And once you have it folded in half, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler and you can lay it down as such. 
So we want to have like a line. We're going to draw a line across that's about the thickness of this ruler. Then we're going to measure the piece of paper. And if you notice, it's roughly just under 22 centimeters. And what we want to do is you want to find the middle of the piece of paper. And since it's roughly about 22, we're going to say roughly about 11 centimeters. And we're just going to put a line there so we know it's the middle. And using this as the middle, we're going to draw three sets of lines. And each line is going to be about two centimeters thick. So if we put this on the ruler, we're going to have one centimeter on the left side and one centimeter on the right side. So there is our first set of lines. And then we're going to space out all the lines by two centimeters. So you already see that this line is two centimeters. And we're going to go two centimeters this way and start our next two lines. And so we have one set of lines, two set of lines. Remember this line, I'll erase it just so it doesn't get confusing. This line just was showing us where the middle was. And then we want to go two centimeters this way also. And one more. And now we're going to draw up to the top of this line. Next, we're going to cut every single line that we see. And we're going to cut from the bottom all the way to the top of that initial line we drew. And once you've cut all the lines, all six of them, you'll see that we have five different pieces. We have one, two, three, four, five. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the first piece and we're going to fold it over. Then we're going to skip the next piece and we're going to go to the third piece and we're going to fold it over. And we're just folding it over right where the line stops. So you can see it kind of lines up with the line that we drew originally. And we're going to fold the fifth one. So the first, the third, and the fifth one. And once we folded those three, we're going to flip the piece of paper over and we're going to fold them backwards. And we folded one, two, and three pieces. Now we're going to open up the piece of paper. And the pieces that we folded, the first one, we're going to fold it towards us. Then we're going to take the, we're going to skip the second one, go to the third one and we're going to fold it towards us. We're going to skip the fourth one and go to the fifth one and we're going to fold it towards us. And now we're going to fold the piece of paper over one more time and give it a nice good crease. And that's going to make sure that those three pieces stick up. And that's where we're going to glue our objects onto. So when we open the card, they will pop up. Next, we're going to create three objects that we're going to glue onto the three pieces that we have that will pop up when we open it. Now, since this is Valentine's Day, you can choose to make any kind of object that relates to Valentine's Day, like maybe a heart, maybe a piece of chocolate or a flower. Or if you're making this Valentine's Day card for somebody, maybe you can make objects that the person likes. So if you have a friend that has a cat, maybe you can make a little cat and you can glue a cat onto this piece. Or if they like sports and they like, a, they like soccer, you can glue a soccer ball on. What I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to make a phrase. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a little sentence here. And I think I'm going to write, I heart you. And then now I have my message. So you can see that I have I 
heart you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the letters and the heart onto these pieces that are sticking out so when we open our card, they will pop up. Now remember, when you're gluing your pieces on, you wanna make sure that you're not gluing them so that way the bottom is below the two lines here. So where you cut your lines, you don't want, you don't want the, the letter or the shape to go beyond that because when you open the card, it won't pop properly. And also, when you're gluing, you wanna make sure you don't glue on the top here. You just wanna glue right here. So in order to help us, I'm gonna put an X on where I'm gonna put the glue. So that way, I know that I won't make a mistake and put too much glue up here, and then the letters will end up sticking and then the card won't open. And I don't want that to happen. So I put my X's, that's X marks the spot, X marks the glue, and I'm going to Put some glue right where the X is. And make sure you put enough glue so it sticks. And there we go. That's how the card will pop. This is kind of like the inside of the card. And so what we wanna do is you wanna put it on a little bit of stronger paper and also a nice colorful piece of paper so that way it really stands out. So we're gonna take our construction paper and we're also gonna fold this in half. Next, we're going to take, we're gonna take our inside of the card and what we're gonna do is we're going to glue it. So we wanna glue it so that way this side is facing down here and this side is here. So when we open the card, again, it pops. our card and now what we can do too is we can add more pizzazz so on the front I'm going to put a nice big heart here because again it's Valentine's Day and everybody knows that there's always hearts everywhere during Valentine's Day all right and the last thing we want to do is we want to leave a nice message in our card for the person that we're writing it for so we want to open it up and on the inside you'll see there's lots of white blank spaces here so we can actually write a nice message. Now when you're writing your message, I would recommend using a pencil because if you make a mistake using a marker, you will not be able to erase it. So it's always a good idea to use a pencil first. And then we also wanna put who the card is to and who the card is from. And there we have our pop-up Valentine's Day card. Here, Britt, this is for you. To Britt, I heart you. Happy Valentine's Day from Sean. Thanks, Sean, I love it. I got you a Valentine's Day gift, too. A pound of bacon? Just what I've always wanted. Now, now what? what? If you want to learn more about Valentine's Day, check the description below the video for links to more resources. If you had fun with us today, remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel so we can have more fun together. See, See you next time! time.